today we're working on chili. And we're going to start off by prepping our beef and onion. And I'm using regular old market grind ground beef. Um, you'll probably see ground sirloin, ground truck, ground round. Um, but the market grind is, in my opinion, better because you have the opportunity to get a lot of different cuts. So you can get everything from filet to tenderloin to premium steaks, whatever, compared to ground chuck, which is just chuck, or ground sirloin, which is just the sirloin. And it's got a little bit higher fat content as well. Um, usually it's labeled between about uh, 70 to 75 percent lean and 30 to 25 percent fat. And the fat will just increase the richness of the final dish. So I'm using my pastry cutter to help separate the meat even more and really work in my salt and pepper. And even though on the chili packet it says to just brown the meat and make the chili sauce later, then the key to getting really good tasting meat is to season it prior to cooking. That looks pretty good. Preheated pot and start cooking. Okay, so our pot is hot and we're going to add about a tablespoon of oil and it's coming up to a shimmer immediately. So we're going to go ahead and add our onions and we're going to keep them moving so they don't get too brown. And a little salt just to help draw out some extra moisture. And we're just going to keep stirring until it stops sizzling quite as much. Yeah, that's a lot quieter already. So, go ahead and pop the lid on, and in the meantime, this is a great opportunity to get the rest of our ingredients set up and ready to go. Okay, so, first things first, so we can go ahead and pop open our beans. I'm using into the beans today. And so we're just going to pour into our strainer. Ones on the bottom. 
bottom always like to stick, so. to open cans without cutting yourself is to push down on one side and lift up at the other corner. And usually I can manage that without getting all bloody. So, if that's an issue for you, now you know how to take care of that. Okay, our onion has been sweating for a few minutes now. And... It is time to add the garlic. Now garlic burns very easily, so make sure to stir immediately after adding. Okay, that looks good to me. Got some brown crusty stuff on the bottom of the pot now which will make our final chili taste even better. So, I'm going to scoop this out into a separate container. I would just dump it, but I'm kind of clumsy and I don't want to spill it everywhere. I think that's enough where I can pour it now. because you don't want that onion and garlic falling off into your meat and overcooking. That does not taste good. So, add all your meat at once. is that extra fat from the market grind rendering out and hitting that hot pot. Okay, so I'm going to stop touching this for a bit and wait for that sizzle to build up again. And once it does, I'm going to cut and stir again, and I'll do that a few times until it has finally gotten all nice and brown and 
cutting a larger chunk shows that there's no pink in the middle. I'm not sure if you can see this, but all that liquid dripping off there is rendered fat, and it is basically frying the beef as it browns. Okay, that is thoroughly browned. So, we take our mesh strainer, put it over our bowl, and perfect. So we're going to let that drain a couple minutes. And you can see here, the bottom of the pot is now perfectly clean. All that brown stuff that the onion and garlic left got picked up by the meat. So that's going to end up in our final chili. So we got one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. We have our rinsed beans. I'm going to add our onion and garlic back. Come on, get off the bowl. Oops, so much for clean fingers. packet of chili seasoning. Pinch of cocoa teaspoon. Now that most of the fat is drained out of the beef, we can give it a few tosses over the sink and don't have to worry too much about grease in the drain. Here we go. And if that does not look like quite enough liquid, then you could always add about half a cup of water. There we go. Perfect. So, while I let and sit this simmer for 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so as you can see, I cleaned up my mess, and I've swapped out my spatula for a serving spoon. And if you ask me, a few things in life, are better. A cold glass of milk, a big chunk of southern cornbread, and a hot bowl of chili. Okay. Mm. Perfect. The beef actually has some flavor of its own since we seasoned it before browning. There's just enough 
liquid to carry the flavorings from the chili mix. And the fire roasted tomatoes instead of the regular canned diced tomatoes. Add so much extra flavor. 